time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me over there too. And it's time to get this review started. Child, we are now on what? Ep- we are on season 16 of the Mahabharat, episodes one through seven that we're going to review today. And last we left off was probably the hardest part. I, well, I don't know. I haven't finished it. And I know there's going to be a war at the end, but so far it was the hardest thing to watch. The hardest part to watch was, you know, the them trying to uh, un- unravel, what what is it called? Take off, you know, unclothe Drapati all beaten up, hair pull, all that stuff. Oh, that was the hardest thing to watch. So I feel like anything after that's going to be a little easier. <laughs> but as we left off, that happened. So now, it, I mean, this season started off. They're still at uh, Hans de Poor. Do I say that wrong? Hans de Poor. And it, this event just happened. And, you know, uh, you know, and everybody sees like the act of God that you know saved Rapati from this unrighteous act they all witnessed it them keep pulling the clothes and her not being able to so they know so you know the the higher forces intervened here that the, what they were doing ain't right and and you know they were witness to that and, th- and then that's what then so now this season starts and they're like well you know this ain't right and Rapati even says She's like, restore, restore the Pandavas powers. Like you see what you have done was unrighteous and all this. Make it right. Restore their powers. And even the blind king there, he was like, you know how he, yes, yes, restore their powers. He's all, <laughs> you know how he is. And then there's the mean one, the, the mean prince is like, no, no, we ain't having that. We ain't restoring power. I want this fair and square. Even at the whole place done seen. You know, the intervention. Drapati's mad too because ain't nobody said nothing. And she's like, y'all going to still be silent now? You were silent before. Then you see this intervention going to be silent now. She's like, and then she did. She's like, I'm cursing all of y'all. <laughs> she, I don't remember what was the curse. I, but she she, she did. She's like, I'm cur- you, you want to stay at your silence? You you all get cursed. Whoever was silent throughout this, you all get cursed. And then it brought over to Krishna. And his little wisdoms and knowledge like they they just took off from that scene and went right to krishna and him talking about oh don't make me cry because i was crying during that too but just him talking about you know how women have been treated you know whenever there's a war they the, it's the women that suffer you know whenever you know like it's these un, un, unrighteous acts like just you know the unrighteousness of women through time and history and look when the Mahabharata was written to the epic 5,000 years ago I just felt like his words now is just still so relatable most things are with the Mahabharata I that's what I've had videos like relating it to you know things happening now in the world but that just hit me even more especially when he's talking about the war and how women are hurting because look we're Every day on the news today, we have like the Ukraine stuff, and 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 you see like how they're, they're attacking maternity wards, like they're attacking the innocent people to try to hurt the government. But it's always the women, and it's always right to like they say the women that's gonna suffer no more. And it's like this is the women that you're making suffer, and they're the future of us. They're the ones who bore our children and give future to mankind, and and they have to take the brunt of this. Oh, Krishna. I love me, my Krishna, Hare Krishna, and and that's what I said. It's just more things I learn about him. The more I'm just like, oh. he just knew he get to Krishna knows. Then they go back to to everything in the hands of, in the court right after with the Drapati after Krishna gives his little with wise words, and here comes you know Shakuni. Here comes him with a plan. You know if it's Shakuni's plan ain't gonna be no good. <laughs> you know what is that? So he's like, well, we have a, here's here's a good compromise. I was like, you know, this ain't going to be good with Shikani behind the wheels. And he's like, well, why don't the Pandavas go into exile? 
first they said something like 13 years that was like 13 years and and still is like no they're blind but no 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 they and then she well well how about this 12 years they're in the exile and then the last year they have to be i don't even know what, what this came in about i don't even know the purpose of this they're like the last year they have to be nobody can recognize them i was like right there what's the purpose of that what's that going to teach anybody that's just giving you a little edge to try to you know stop them from getting their stuff back because if they found out they said then they repeat the 12 years so i was like that's just you trying to get your little you know your little uh schemes going on we can't trust them but of course everybody does how many times he's got to give you a trick dice and chikani doing his evil ways that that you're going to trust them too many one person who's smart enough not to trust him is his own sister that gandari she knows after all that stuff happened what did she do she went back on she's like we're turning out all the lights even though she can't see nothing <laughs> even though she's blinded and the blind prince can, or the blind king can't but she's like we're, we're t snuffing out all the, there ain't gonna be no lights up in here because this is darkness going on right now and she's kind of gonna come in and she tells him she's like this is this is your metal in chicago she tells him because she knows she knows like that it was cursed and 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 her sons are gonna be the ones perishing this and even i i feel for her because even as much as i'm like oh, i don't want get rid of that blind prince get rid of him then you have to think too like as a mother oh, i couldn't imagine i couldn't imagine you know because you want to protect even if you know your son's d done bad deeds or one of your kids done the bad deeds you still have that motherly love and instant that un unconditional love that's what they call unconditional love no matter what they do you have the love in your heart for your kid and you want just you know all you don't want nothing bad to happen to him and she knows a hundred she has a hundred of them how much is that i can't imagine losing one think of a hundred to how much that's gonna break your heart break your heart with one that's like a hundred pieces broken into <sighs> poor Gandari poor Gandari because she's such a good soul she's such a good soul and you you just know but she has just all this evilness around her with with the Shikani and 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 even her own son and <sighs> Pandavas go back to the inst what is it called insta in into Indistan or so, so like they go back to their palace with with Drapati, you know, well, she's with them, but she ain't having it. She goes right in that palace, and even what, what's her name, uh, Krishna's sister, Sh Shandar, Shandari, or what? She tries to give her a hug. She's like, no, like she goes right to her room, locks that door, closes the curtains. Even Beam can't get through that door. I was like, what? Beam who can lift the the lift the trees out of like the roots he can't even open this door i was like what kind of power has he got down this door that even being can't get through it and then krishna shows up oh when krishna showed up i was like y'all in trouble <laughs> i was he looked mad i was like oh like you know when you're young and your parents are mad and and you know you're gonna get in trouble and 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 they come in and they got that face you know the face i make the face to my kids too i'm like you get the big eyes you're like you don't say nothing you don't even have to say nothing you just give them those eyes like this that's that's the face and krishna had that face i was like oh they gotta get in trouble she's the only one that can get through the party huh I mean, she's like in that room and he goes up in there. Oh, at first, Bean couldn't even open that door and Chris is like, boop, open, <laughs> you know. But he goes in there and she's like, get away. But uh, another time I cried, I think it's just because there's so much respect for women in, 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 the, in, this ep in the epics and in the teachings that you don't see any other place. I mean, look in the Bible. Like, that's why I said I want to relate to like what I studied growing up. And how the Bible like treats women? They're like, you honor your husband. You do, you know, you you what, what he says goes. And I never agree with that. I was like, oh no, what? <laughs> you know me? I'm I'm like over here, you know, very much a strong. I think woman and 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 have you know not independent. I mean, because I'm married and everything. But so much that you know what it could be almost the opposite sometimes like what i say goes you know but very much it, i'm for like very much equalness in the relationship so that was never attracted to me and about honor thy husband and do what they no 
but uh, this does because Krishna comes in there and, and at what happened to her she does she they would try to rip her clothes off and have her stand there naked in her period in front of the whole court of course you're gonna feel violated she I mean as a woman any woman watching this I could we feel Tripathi's pain that's why we cry and and it hurts us so much and I think men too because they can place you know their their mothers or their sisters or their wives or you know those women that they love in her place too and I think that you know it could relate to and break their heart but but for a woman I think it, it's it's even more because we could put ourselves in that place you know and and many women have many women have been violated so when Krishna comes and and she's like don't know I'm dirty and this and he's like no you know, a, a bad deed to happen to you, something unrighteous happened to you, but it doesn't make you dirty. And what he say? Oh, what he say? Like he's like, if you know, I'm dirty and I go wash in the river, does that now make the river dirty because it washed away my dirt? No, right? It doesn't make the river any more dirty. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna tear up just because that's what I said. Like the respect for women that they have, it just it hits hits me here. And then what Krishna said too, like the reason to stand up for it, he's like, if that unrighteousness can happen to you in that court over there by those people, if they would do it to like, first of all, their sister-in-law, but also like a, a, a queen of her own, right? I mean, she she was like married to the five brothers and they, you know, they have their own palace and kingdom. She was like a queen of their own and they gonna do this to a woman who in that position and that power, and who's also related? What would they? Krishna said, "What would they do to just, you know, everyday woman, just a normal, you know, common woman, who doesn't have this position in life, who doesn't have like the position of power and 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 nobility that you have? Would it? What would they do to her if they're gonna do this to you? You're you, Drapati." are now representing all women right now, standing up for all of them who don't have like the voice or, you know, that you do, do not have the power that you do. So, oh, it just, I really, I love this. This, as hard as it was last, last season to watch this season, I'm just like, oh, it's hit me. It's hit me like, I, it, it's making me, you know, have, a little more faith in like the humanity and and in people and and then Krishna's like all right time to listen time to go and do your exile but why you in exile like prepare prepare for it he's like you beam go over to Hannah man and 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 gain more strength and I was like oh Hannah man Hannah man yes <laughs> you know they're like you know Arjun you go get like the weapon from you know Lord Shiv right he's like go and, and make nice more ship like he gave them each like this is what you need to do in your time of exile to prepare for what happened so they go off in exile and they're all together you know and and they leave the palace first of all and then here comes that mean prince gonna ride up in there take their flag and throw it and all i was like oh you're gonna get yours mean prince you're gonna get yours so they go off in their little place and then so like Oh, stuff weird happens right because then the first thing they off you know in, the, in their little hut there and then here starts the brothers dying and one brother goes he goes like to the river and and he's dead and then the next one goes and checks on him and he's dead and bean goes and checks and he's dead then our, here comes our june he's dead i'm like all oh, locked up and then then what yudi's like i'm gonna go he's the last one and, and Strapati's like nobody's coming back y'all just gonna leave me here he's like no you can't go but he went and he sees all them dead and everything. And and then, you know, what is he, he prays or something comes. He's like, why, why'd you do this? Well, you find out it's a test, right? You find out it's a test versus this guy that comes up there like, he drank out of this, they drank out of this water that was mine. I was like, what the, I didn't see any signs up. How'd they know that they're not supposed to drink out of that? <laughs> That's my first thought. I was like, I didn't see any signs up over here like that they ain't supposed to drink it. Well, then they're like, well, I'll bring one of the brothers back. I was like, oh, you know, that ain't going to happen. Yudi ain't going to, Yudi's going to be like, bring, bring all of them or none. You know, that's how Yudi is. He will stand by even, you know, to, to his word with that, with that till like the very last breath he will. So they pass the little, he passes the little test. I remember he had to answer. Oh, what was the, the questions he had to answer? I remember, oh, he was, they asked him what life and death was right so 
I, d- I should talk about this because I did like what he is like because he's like life is God, right? He's like, you know, Lord Vishnu, our, our, our God, he's he's in everything. He's in, uh, in every person and every living thing, every plant, every, you know, so of course if he's in everything, life is God. And then they're like, well, what is death? And so he was like, well, since, you know, God can't die and life is God, death is like an illusion. I was like, oh, that's deep. That is deep. Because I feel like in every religion, every every religion that you say, there is never like one that just like you die and that's the end, right? There's never one that like you die and then you just cease being. No. I mean, and everyone, I oh, either reincarnated, you know, in religions or or even they say like life after death. They they say, you know, this is our life here, but then we die, we go on to either a better life or sometimes a worse life. You know, this is <laughs> this is in everyone that you know, life goes on and life so death is like an illusion and and that could just you know, that just hit and, and was deep, it can relate to any any religion. You you know we pass that and then he's like of course he's like, Well, no, I can't pick but you're gonna pick this brother come live. Nope. Nope, nope, <laughs> you know. So uh, of course, all here comes all the brothers. He he talked his way into getting all the brothers alive again. But it's because he's like, well, you passed the test. So, so during this time, they're constantly gonna get tests. That's what that's where I came during their exile time. They're gonna constantly get tests that they have to pass, and they do because after this, they're like, all right, now it's time. Beam, you go off to Hannah Man, go find him at the mountain, and he did. I was like, oh. And you know, because first you saw like the monkey's tail and then it was like this little monkey and he was playing around with, because you know, then there's Beam. Oh, this was one of my favorite parts because there's Beam and his Ladoos. You know how he loves his Ladoos and he's like, here's two for you and the rest for me. And then, well, then the monkey takes, the little monkey takes one. He's like, oh, that was, well, now you just have one left and the rest is still for you. You know how Beam is with his food. You know how he is. So he goes with Lord Hannah Man and does his little test, right? And then, and and of course passes it. I mean, you Pandavas ain't gonna ain't gonna fail their test except I guess if it comes to rolling dice. <laughs> I guess that's the, the the main test they don't pass. But you know they gonna pass the test. Then Arjun goes off and and he's like with the dried people and then here comes this guy with the. To air. Oh no, it was, he was meditating and, and they had like a wild boar and he saw it coming and he shoots it and it dies. But then they see two arrows in it. Then the tribal people are going to come and he's going to be like, well, I killed that. Remember, RG was like, I killed it. And he's like, well, how you know it's your arrow that killed him? And he's like, because I'm the best archer ever. And then, there, and then that one the guy, he's like, well, shoot over there. And he shoots it. And then he's like, well, let me show you. And he didn't even look. He's like, I'm going to show you. He shot an arrow in it and it split our Junes in half and went right in the middle. I was like, right then, I was like, oh, that's that's the Lordship. That's who he's waiting for. There's Lordship. And it was. Now tell me, because from the earlier episodes, the Lordship was like a different actor. I felt like, I mean, this was definitely the Lordship. He had, you know, the, the snakes on him and everything. But it's not the Lordship. What happened there? Did they have to get a new actor for the Lord Shift? Because I was like, this is a different Lord Shift that I remember seeing. This is a different one. And it was the same Lord Shift that they used when, because they have that, what is it, Mahadev, the series. They used that same, you know, actor as the Lord Shift. Because, I mean, that's what I said. In my mind, too, like when I picture him, he's a great. So I don't know what happened and why they got a new actor, but I was not happy with that. Because I was like, that ain't him. That ain't love shit that I know. Well, of course, they pass, they test and do their things. And most of them, you know, they go back and, you know, back to the little hut that they're staying at with the Yudi and, and Drapati. And she's about to serve them, you know, all their rice. And, of course, there's Beam with his big horn. Beam always cracks me up with his food. He does. I'm like, Beam, he always hungry. I want to eat all the Ledoux. <laughs> but then, so they're all sitting there right about to eat. And then who comes? It's like this sage. What is it? Dervasa? He gonna come up there with a hundred, a hundred other sages talking about you feed us, feed us, or we're gonna put a, a a curse on you. I was like, what? You gonna just show up with a hundred of the sages talking about feed us all until we're content, or we're gonna get you, like you? I was like, well, do you see what I live in this little hut? You see this little hut? You think they just got 
you know, all kind of food to just serve people. I was getting a little mad at him. He was being a little, I thought Satan was supposed to be like the spiritual guides and all that. I was like, he's getting, he's come up in there a little bossy, just feed us. Krishna's there to save the day. <laughs> Always Krishna, like they're trying to, to, you know, he's like, we're leaving, we're leaving. And Beam's over there trying to stop him. He's like on the ground, don't leave, wait. You know, Yuda goes out there to try to ex explain things. And there's, you know, poor Drapati, like she hasn't gone through enough trying to just scrounge up, you know, any kind of grains or whatever. And Krishna's coming there. She's like, help me, help me, Krishna. That's what a lot of times, I, like I know it's Hari Krishna, but I, sometimes I feel like the most, the one of the biggest things is, is help me, Krishna. Is that what Hari means? Help me, Krishna. And they're searching. He find, what did he do? I was like, what? <laughs> he finds one little piece of rice. He eats it. And then all the, those things just start burping. I was like, what's going on? They all, I was like, Lord Krishna done done his tricks. <laughs> Lord Krishna done done his tricks. And then that sage going to burp too. And he's like, all right, we feel content. We feel content. Bye. <laughs> then this last episode that I watched ends with, it's back to that mean prince and, you know, little Shikani and all. And they're going to have the brother-in-law in. Because, you know, they had the hundred brothers and then they gave him a daughter too. Like a sister. And she was sweet. I remember, like, I we haven't, I don't remember seeing her since she was younger. But she, she was like one of those sweet, she reminded me of a little Godari. Like a little Godari. You know, had a good little soul and everything. And then I guess she got married to this guy. I don't even know what his name is. But he's the brother-in-law. And they're going to get hit him to fight with the Pandabas. They're just got, they got him all riled up. Got him all riled up. They're like, oh, it's a fight with the Pandavas. I was like, oh. they just won't stop. They won't stop. And you know that last year, they're going to be looking for him because they already got spies looking for him, like watching him. Drapati called him out. She went over there. She's like, y'all want some food? I know you're here. She's like, I don't know why. For these, We're not going to be hiding for these 12 years. She's like, you know, it's the last year we have to hide. So I don't know why you're going to be just hiding up in the hay for 12 years, you know. Well, luckily though, what what test was it? It was the one with the river, wasn't it? With the the first test that they got a boon cuz they passed it and they and and that was smart. They were like, I don't need what did he like I don't need, you know, the riches. I don't need this or that. I I have everything. But what I do need is that last year we have to give us the boon. He gave us them the boon to be, you know, nobody can recognize them. So I that last year, I'm not even worried about them trying to find them with the spies and everything. I'm like, they got their boon. They got their boon. Ain't nobody going to recognize the Pandavas this ne that last year. Well, I'm about halfway done through the season. I feel like I'm going to get, want to go watch the rest of it. Because, I mean, my, that was the most difficult part. I knew it was covered with the, the Drapati and, and unveiling her. And I kept putting it off because it was sick to my stomach. I didn't want to watch and I knew it was going to upset me. Now that we're over that hump, I'm like, all right, I'm full. I'm like, I'm I'm ready to, to finish this. I'm ready to see where this goes. I know it's going to be a lot harder. More more parts that are going to be hard to watch, especially when it comes to the war. And I know, you know, who perishes and stuff. Oh, I'm probably going to have tons of tears. But let me know what y'all think. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time, y'all. Mwah!